and welcome to the OWC instructional series of installation videos. In this installment, we will be replacing the optical drive in a 20 inch iMac G5 2004 model. We have already powered down, unplugged, and placed our iMac on a soft, scratch, and static free workspace. We are now ready to begin. To start, we will need to place our iMac face down on our workspace with the bottom of the unit towards us. There are three Phillips screws to remove here. These are captive screws, meaning that they will not come all the way out. Unscrew them until they are loose. To remove the back of the iMac, lift the bottom of the back case and slide it up and out. The optical drive is located here. Before we can remove the optical drive, we first need to remove these three Phillips screws. There is also a Torx screw that needs to be removed here. Please use your T10 Torx screwdriver. Once all four screws have been removed, Gently lift the optical drive up from the rear and remove it from the iMac. We need to remove these six screws in order to remove the old optical drive from the drive carrier. You will need to use a Torx T6 screwdriver to remove them. Once the six screws have been removed, gently pull the data and power connector off. There is blue shock absorbent sticky tape inside the drive carrier, so it may take a little time to work the drive out. Push the drive forward out of the carrier. Once the drive is out of the carrier, we have to remove the front bezel from the old optical drive. Push on the small latches around the bezel and it should pop right off. We must now install our old bezel onto our new optical drive. Simply line up the bezel and push it until the latches snap into place. Slide the new optical drive into the drive carrier, making sure that the shock absorbent tape does not curl or bind as you do so. Reconnect the data and power connector by gently pushing it into place until it seats correctly. Replace the six Torx six screws. Once all the screws have been replaced, we are ready to install our new optical drive into our iMac. Line up the two holes in the optical drive with the two pins on the iMac. Push the optical drive into place, making sure that the power and data connector snaps into place. Replace the Torx 10 screw here. Now replace the three Phillips screws. To 
to replace the back cover, make sure that the top is under the tabs and set the back into place. Tighten the three screws on the bottom of the iMac, taking care not to over tighten and strip the screws. Your iMac G5 is now ready to use.